Asian Americans, Asian Canadians, Indian Americans, Indian Canadian, Middle Eastern Americans, Middle Eastern Canadians. What do we all have in common? Our closed minded parents that yell at us, You need to become doctor. Or, Why you no lawyer, huh? Because doctor and lawyer make a lot of money. Oh, and let's not forget, education is the only way to a successful life. And when you try to counter their arguments with your plans, your dreams, they react like, do you really want to spend the rest of your life working at McDonald's when your dream doesn't work? Growing up in these environments can be harsh, especially between middle and high school. And when you think about it, it's pretty messed up, but living in these households, whenever kids like us try to explore our imagination, we get shot down before we even get to try because anything outside of a doctor, lawyer, engineer, and an education in general is just considered unlogical, ludicrous, delusional for idiots. I mean, it is what it is, but at the same time, your parents should be the rock of your support, not your biggest demoralizer. Do you think I came to this country for you to be hocus pocus dream chaser. But instead of supporting your vision, they want you to either follow their footsteps or the path that they wish they traveled on. You must get an education and become doctor. And don't get me wrong, I really understand our parents' perspectives. They just want us to have a good paying job with benefits, health insurance, and etc. But just ask yourself, if I did what my parents wanted me to do, would that make me happy? G -g 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 Giggity. Probably not. In general, deep down I believe we all have a dream. And that dream probably doesn't consist of medical or law school. And maybe there's a chance a college education may not even be in the picture. But your dream has a picture of you being happy with doing something you love. Now of course you want your parents to be proud of you, but what I'm trying to say is focus on what you want and what makes you happy because you're gonna have to live your life for you at some point, not them. And trust me on this, you will have plenty of arguments with your parents like What? Does it sound really logical to you at all? Seriously, do you think you're gonna make a living out of this? Mom, just let me explain. No, 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 no. You listen to me. You need an education, a college degree that will give you a good career, good salary, good benefit. Yeah, I think you got the picture. Just be prepared for all the jabs and negativity towards what you really want to do. Whether it's starting your own business, to following a creative artistic profession, just know you aren't the only one that's going through this type of heat. Mom, just wait a minute. I know this doesn't sound like the best idea, but I believe with some time and hard work, this can turn into a career for me. I even came up with this plan. Plan? What plan? Do you think your hobby can become a career? Yes, just hear me out now. Imagine- Imagine? You're using your imagination again? <laughs> yeah, quite the fireworks, huh? But you know why our parents are reacting like this? Fear. They're scared for us. And even out of this fear, they will come back with, Well, if that's what you want to do, you figure out yourself. See, the thing is, our parents want us to conform because education is the only path that they knew would lead to better opportunities in life. Get straight A's, go to an elite university, a career as a doctor, lawyer, pharmacist, engineer, all that shiznay. But take a close look at our parents, our grandparents, or even our great grandparents. What the hell were they thinking when they first came into the US or Canada? Better opportunity for not just my kids, but for future generations and family. Exactly. Y'all came into either or of these countries not even knowing the language. But you knew there was a lot of opportunity in these countries, right? You had nothing but family, hope, and a work ethic. Yet these are the same people telling us, you are playing a game of risk by rolling the dice by chasing your dreams. Do you understand that? Like I definitely understand that, but the same principles apply to when y'all first rolled the dice on coming into these respective countries. With the will, there's a way. And the fact is, many of our parents have relentless work ethics. And we all have that foundation to build off of. You must work your behind off if you want a successor. All you need to do is work very, 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 very hard and you can achieve anything. See, the reality is, you don't have to know how you're gonna do whatever it is that you wanna do. You just need to know what you want to do so you can focus on that. You wanna be a photographer? Great, work hard for it. You want to have your own radio show? Great, work hard for it. You want to be an author? Great, work hard for it. Just look at it like this. Your parents, grandparents, great-grandparents, whoever the first generation was. They didn't know what the hell they were doing. They just knew they wanted a better life and opportunities for their children and future generations in the family. Overall, my point is, don't conform to what your parents want you to do. 
just figure out what you want to do. Paint the big picture, the big dream in your mind. And if your parents aren't on your team, be on your own team. You have yourself. I mean, technically, that's the only person you really need, but just believe in yourself and believe in your work ethic. And I guarantee once you have a strong foundation built within yourself and your work ethic, your parents will eventually come around the corner and support you. It's not gonna happen overnight. Trust me, I know this from experience. But in the end, you don't have to be a genius to be successful in what you want. All you have to do is work hard.